Hey guys, so let's talk about our wine label Aristia. Uh, this is produced by independent winemaker Matthew Croner. So what is an independent winemaker? Well, an independent winemaker, unlike a traditional wine estate, doesn't own a piece of land. So what he does is he goes around and he does some shopping around Cape Town and he buys grapes, uh, in this case from the absolute best producers. And uh, he tends to pay above market rates for top quality grapes. The great thing about that is when it comes to a product like his Cab Sav, uh, he can go to Stellenbosch, which is the place to buy Cabernet Sauvignon grapes in South Africa. Um, but when it comes to something like his Sauvignon Blanc over here, he'll go to an area called Elgin, which is a cool climate area, which is perfect for Sauvignon Blanc. So it gives you a bit more flexibility uh, in your range of wines. Um, Matthew Croner is a 12th generation winemaker so winemaking is quite literally in his blood. Um, if you consider that South Africa has been making wine for 370 years, 12 generations takes you back quite a long way uh, in that history. Um, so the name Aristia, where does that come from? Uh, each bottle has a pretty flower on the label and that is the Aristia flower. Um, it is native to the area around Cape Town. Uh, it also grows in Madagascar. And uh, the story behind the flower is that it only blooms for one day each year. And that really symbolizes the battle between the earth and the grapevines to produce an outstanding wine. So if you're looking at the Aristia range, which one should you try? You definitely need to try his MCC Brut. Uh, this is a traditional method sparkling wine uh, made using Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, which is very typical for premium sparklings, just like uh, Champagne. Um, if red wine is more your thing, definitely try his Cab Sav. Like we said, it's from Stellenbosch, which is the home of premium Cab Sav in South Africa.